Maize is an important food crop consumed by over 300 million people in sub-Saharan Africa. According to the Institute for Agricultural Research, IAR, maize is the fourth most consumed cereal in Nigeria and one of the most widely grown crops. Maize production in Nigeria has drastically reduced and has been negatively impacted due to the advent of the four army worms in 2016 and the rising incidence of droughts. Research has shown that more than a million maize producer households across the country have been impacted by the fall army worms, with more than one trillion naira losses in earnings in four states. But the teller maize has now come to the rescue. After years of research, scientists at the IAR have been able to overcome the worm and have gone a step further to address the twin challenge of insect pests and drought in maize production by developing the teller maize. This maize variety is resistant to four army worm, stem borer, and droughts. This variety has been approved by the National Biosafety Management Agency. It's a process that to show uh, Nigerians are working and uh, we are working hard to see that uh, we have uh, achieved the goal of the federal government that is towards uh, food security. Tela maize is a uh, maize that combines tolerant to insect pests and drought tolerance because those drought due to climate change is a big issue we are having now in Africa where you see rains come sometime it, you don't see rain again and then it comes back so it causes drought and drastic yield loss by farmers. The coming of Telemi's variety will greatly improve farmers yield and their income it will also save farmers the cost of purchasing chemicals. Asma Alwan, Arise News. All right, joining us to discuss this further is Professor uh, Rabiu Adamu, uh, the principal researcher of the Tela Maze project. He's also the principal investigator. Uh, glad to have you uh, join us in the studio. Uh, thank you, sir. All right, let's start this way. How would this well, some people are apprehensive of uh, modified products. How safe or how dangerous is it? Let's start like that. You know, new technologies have brought up about development. They don't go without their challenges. Knowledge about new technologies will come with some misinterpretation. This is why the issue of biotech crops have some of their share of misinterpretation. Biotech crops or genetically modified crops have been used for more than 25 years. They have been consumed. The research on biotech has started in the United States and Europe since the early 60s. But the production and utilization of biotech crops come into full effect from 1996, especially in Africa. In America and other countries, it is earlier than 1996. I would like to cite a classical example of maize. The genetically modified maize that was bred to resist drought and insect pests, particularly fall armyworm and stem borers. These two challenges have greatly impacted negatively on the productivity and production of maize in Africa and wherever maize is grown. These are two recurrent persistent problems that hamper productivity. So there are use of conventional breeding methods to breed for resistance is very slow and time consuming. But we need to use intervention of modern biotech to hasten the process. This is why the process of genetic engineering is employed to solve and fast track this pioneer of solution to these problems. Right. How will this help? Let me just go straight. How, how will this help? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> how will this help smallholder farmers? The smallholder farmers have all continued to bear the brunt of climate change and policy issues that have hampered their production. Let me start with climate. 
climate change is real because of the unpredictability of the rains, particularly because most of the agriculture is rain paid. So if you cannot get sufficient moisture to take your crop through at the critical stages of production when the crop is about to produce the viable products, rain seizes, the farmer may not got anything and it will impact on his welfare and socioeconomic status. And it will make him more vulnerable to socioeconomic shocks. So this is why we need to have some technologies that will bring solution to this problem. Also for insect pests, farmers used to spend large chunk of their resources to buy pesticides. Before now, in the recent time, there is new pest in, or maize called fall armyworm, which came into the country in the last four, five years, 2016. This has added its cost of production. Before now, farmers don't need to spray maize maybe once or twice, but with the coming of the peace space, it's an invasive pest, new pest to the country. They require to spray four to five times. Well, what about the teller, the teller maze? What can you tell us about it? The teller maze... Uh, and maybe uh, you, you add that to mm -hmm. the fact that scientists at mm -hmm. IA, our yeah. Institute of Agricultural mm -hmm. yeah. Research at uh, Mar Bello, have not only uh, overcome the worm, mm -hmm. they have also addressed the challenge of insect pests, which you're talking about, yeah. and drought in maize production. So just combine those two questions. Okay. As I'm saying, the pest problem, the cause serious damage to maize, it could cause up to 80% yield loss. You are supposed to get 4 tons or 5 tons per hectare. That's over 40 to 50 bags of maize. If you have this pest, you didn't manage them, you didn't control them, you likely end up with 10 bags as opposed to 40. You see, that is a big loss to farmers. So we need to intervene. This is why Taylor Maize came into with these new technologies that will lessen the use of pesticide to manage the stem borers and pollen amium that cause up to 80% yield loss and drought that the farmers could not be able to salvage because once there is drought, you not end up not getting anything. But with the Taylor maize hybrids, they could be able to do well in the process of moderate drought. That is a plus. All right. Uh Let's even talk about the results that this maize variant is yielding yeah. and how all this will impact the economy of the country. It will impact hugely on the economy of this Nigeria. Let me cite an example for stem borers and Paul Amiwo. The country spends, Nigeria spends 268 billion naira on importation of pesticides to manage these two pests. So there will be huge savings in foreign exchange. I don't know the current exchange rate, but if you combat it, we'll save our foreign exchange. Two, the harmful side effects of those chemicals, we are talking about environment, because they continue to be dumped into the environment. It will affect the environment generally, water bodies, our species and other important organisms that stays in the water will be affected. Thirdly, the human aspect, those applying pesticides because they have cumulative long-term harmful effects. So if you continue to import and use pesticide, it will have, have uh, effect on the environment. But it, with the Taylor means all these constraints, which I mentioned, the use of pesticide, the savings into the, the economy, and the human health will be improved and it will sustain the production of the crop. It will reduce the cost of production. You don't need to spend resources on the pesticide. I will cite an example. You require a minimum of 50,000 naira to buy pesticide and hire labor to spray one hectare of maize farm right, against we'll all animal. We'll leave it there. All right. Uh, Professor Rabiu Adamo, Institute of Agricultural uh, Research at Madubelo University and the principal investigator there also thank you for being on the program thank you sir i'm honored all right we'll be back in a bit with more don't go away